Hi everyone, this is Cindy. I just came out of the Executive Council meeting uh, February 3rd and a couple of important topics came up today. Uh, first, a number of you have expressed concern about being unable to schedule your second dose of vaccine and I asked about that today and I was advised that they are having some trouble uh, with the system and that they are doing everything they can to load up appointments as quickly as possible. So please keep checking and get your appointment scheduled. And I just wanna clear up a piece of misinformation. Some people have been scheduled for second doses, six, seven, um, even more weeks out. And I just want everyone to know that it is very important to get your dose either 21 or 28 days after you got your first dose, depends on which vaccine you got. Um, but you need to get it as close to that day as you possibly can after that day. And, um, and on or after that date. And so um, it is not, um, there is no science to back up what the efficacy of this vaccine will be if there is a long gap between the two vaccines. So please make every effort to get your second dose scheduled as soon as possible, <coughs> as soon as possible on or after the 21 or 28 days, depending on the vaccine. The other issue of real importance that came up today the, the governor has renominated Frank Edelblut to be the Commissioner of Education, and he has renominated Andrew Klein to be the chair of the State Board of Education. Um, Mr. Edelblut, Commissioner Edelblut, has been forwarding an agenda to undermine our public schools. He is essentially dismantling public education, and he is downshifting the cost of this to the local taxpayers. We need to make sure that we, that we have people at our State Board of Education that are truly, truly committed to public education. Public education is the bedrock of our democracy. It is the essence of the American dream. This is what makes it possible for any child from anywhere to grow up and be whatever they want to be, to build a better future for themselves and for their children. And we need to make sure that we have people in public education that believe in that. And right now, we don't. The voucher program that uh, Commissioner Edelblot is, is forwarding will allow the diversion of public funds to pay for private schools for wealthy families at wealthy schools. It will allow for taxpayer dollars to be used at religious schools and in homeschooling. This all drains money away from our public education system. It undermines the system and it hands the bill to the taxpayers. So I will be, uh, I believe both of these nominations should be defeated. Um, Andrew Klein, who is currently our, our, um, on our State Board of Education, has advocated, uh, actually promoted, that having um, teachers in charter schools actually helps our public schools because the poor performing teachers in charter schools don't go on to become licensed teachers. And he states that unlicensed teachers, in a blog that he's posted on the Josiah Bartlett Center, said unlicensed teachers can work in the charter school sector. They can try out teaching, see how they like it. And if they're good at it, they may move on and get a license and move on to public schools. Well, I don't think it's good for our children to be taught by unlicensed teachers who, who are, are admittedly, based on his article, the poor performers are being weeded out by our, our kids in charter schools. This isn't good for our children. It's not good for public education. We need to find a better way than Frank Edelblut and Drew Klein. Thanks.